Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is December 14th, and right now we are looking at the visible satellite imagery, and you can see yesterday that Thule fog, not getting rid of that here anytime soon. Got that going for the next few days, but the good news is there is uh, eventually hope on the horizon here. Looks like we're going to end this streak of this very strong inversion in the lower levels of the atmosphere here across the valley areas. We're going to allow for some mixing to get in here and also more importantly, some uh, additional Pacific storms to roll into the region here. Some mountain snows will be incoming and some heavy rains potentially all the way up and down the California coastline. So we'll dive into those details here as we go through the video this morning. Just a word of caution, though, it's still a little ways out, but the pattern does show up pretty well in almost every single model, and the ensembles have support as well. And again, you can see uh, the temperatures here, the anomaly as we've gone through the month of December, and you can see that inversion there. Some places in the foothills in the Sierra Nevada, 10 degrees above. Some places across the inversion there in the valley areas, 10, 11, 12 below normal here for the first 12 days of December. Now, Taking a look here at the Tempest Weather Station, this thing makes a great Christmas gift. It's really easy to set up. That's one of its main features here, and it's a great smartphone app. Store all the data in the cloud there, and you, you can visit this on a website too. Any website, anywhere, you can check out your weather station and whatnot. So yeah, click on the link down below. Highly recommend this weather station. Now, pattern shift, Sacramento National Weather Service. This was issued yesterday onto it. This pattern change incoming here. Probably going to be a little bit while longer before any of the Southern California weather offices start to talk about this. But, of course, we're always looking off into the future to try to give you a heads up. Now, taking a look here at the visibility. So, this is this morning. Again, you see the Thule fog out there. There's Monday morning. There's Tuesday morning one more time. And then, what? The time we get towards Wednesday, we start to bring a little bit of some of that cloud activity here. And what those mid and high level clouds can do is it traps some of the heat at the surface and you don't get the radio radiational cooling nearly as much. So you can start to reverse that inversion and then you bring some wind in here as well and it can start to stir up the atmosphere. So hopefully by Wednesday and then if not, maybe by Thursday, then definitely by probably by next weekend. But yeah, it's been a while. We've had that inversion ongoing for quite a while. And you, you already know that if you're living across the region. So this is daily two meter max high temperatures. Here we go with December 14th. This is for today. We get some of these very nice readings are towards the salt and sea southern california getting to the 70s some areas of deeper the upper 70s as well foothill areas nice glorious uh, temperatures out there and you can see the big inversion versus the foothill areas and some of the coastal range as well and you can see Death Valley is here. There's Las Vegas and some of Western Arizona enjoying those nice temperatures. So as we go through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, finally, as we go through the day Wednesday, you notice we warm things up across the valley areas. That's the inversion finally breaking there. Maybe still a little bit hanging out there as we go through Thursday, Friday, still a little semblance of it. But by the time we go towards next weekend, hopefully that really starts to get out of here and we start to bring some more systems into the area or at least start to get this trough a bit closer. Now, taking a look at the artificial intelligence ensemble mean this has really been our best performing model in the mid-range forecast and the extended forecast if we take a look here we're looking at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere. You see the ridge kind of dominating some of the west here. And then we scroll off into the future. Storm train pointed at the Pacific Northwest. And eventually we start to get that activity down into California as we go towards next weekend. And then on into the following week, there are 200 hours out. You can see this very strong signal, this deep trough along the west coast of North America. And that could be including much of the state of California with some precipitation, maybe even some prolonged precipitation. You know, we'll see how that goes, but we've got to still have a long way to go. Now, taking a look at the artificial intelligence 10 to 1 snow. You see, we have to go all the way on in towards next weekend before we get the first sign of some of this upper elevation snowfall. This would be about Friday afternoon, Friday night when the first sign of it comes. We go through Saturday night. We're now on into Sunday night there. And then you can see as we go through the following week, we get additional rounds of snowfall potentially as we go. So yeah, just still kind of watching. We're not nailing down any details at this time frame right now. But if you look at the artificial intelligence, there goes some of the systems through the Pacific Northwest. We get clipped here across portions of Northern California, and then the storm train really starts to return here again as we go through the following weekend. You can see the atmospheric river potential bouncing around much of the state of California, and you see how the artificial intelligence actually on this run. Kind of interesting. Again, I don't want to get it caught up in the details too much, but it shows kind of a prolonged period of some very warm, moist southwest flow into portions of the desert southwest, and of course, including the state of California. But again, it's kind of fantasy land right now. GFS versus the artificial intelligence on the left. GFS is on the 
right? This is total precipitation in inches. Let's scroll through here and see what that would look like. So we do get this system moving through Northwest California here as we go through the day on Monday. Now we're into Monday night. There's Tuesday, some of that rain still falling. <clears throat> it mainly stays north of the Bay Area for the most part as we go through this upcoming week. Maybe a little bit down towards the Bay Area. GFS, something similar there as well. Much bigger amounts the further north you go. Arcata, Crescent City, for example. And some of the northern Sierra Nevada Cascades, Klamath Range, getting some decent amounts of precipitation out of that. And then we wait a couple more days here. And then we start to go off in towards next weekend. And then the following week. And that's when we really start to ramp up the storm potential all the way down through Southern California. Both models still have it. And you can see the big amounts across Northwest California. But look at the artificial intelligence again with that kind of stalling out and that southwest flow moving back into southern california some ridiculous amounts showing up here not nearly as much on the gfs but at least there's some now we're going to ride this here for a while because it's nice to kind of look at this and just know that there is no drought currently across the state of california so again something to give thanks for and that won't last so enjoy it while it does six to ten day here we go through december 23rd look at that above normal signal creeping down across much of the state of california the above normal signal as well there's the 8 to 14 day with the above so the climate prediction center definitely is paying attention there we go 8 to 14 day also all the way on in through december 27th now looking at some of these individual ensemble locations there's arcada and you can see that in the mean and the controller up over 10 inches by the time we start to get towards the end of the month of december sacramento look at the control run just kind of out of control there and the ensemble of means still bringing big amounts of precipitation but yeah that's right up there with one of the top ensemble members you can see there are 50 of these ensemble members we tweak each one of their initial conditions to try to correct for any errors in in our misunderstandings of the initial conditions of the atmosphere so it gives us a good idea what is possible and you can kind of see how things get very chaotic as you look farther out into a forecast and of course in the short term you have much better agreement now, San Francisco, something similar here as well. Some pretty good precipitation amounts rolling in here. And Los Angeles, you can see run-to-run -run consistency with the European Artificial Intelligence Ensemble there is pretty good. This is kind of showing up maybe December 23rd, 24th, 25th. Maybe we'll get a rainy Christmas there for some of Southern California and Lake Tahoe continues to show a decent snow signal as well. Don't get caught up in these amounts too much. This is just a 10 to one ratio. So this might look like a bit of a cherry picked um, of what you might expect there for snow for the higher terrain. But yeah, you can see the ensemble mean is still pretty good and we'll just watch that daily. And of course the experimental products are showing some of that moderate risk for some heavy precipitation as we go through the end of the month and the snow returning as well and some wind potential also. So anyway, check out the Patreon page. Page. hopefully you guys are having a good day out there stay safe if you're driving around that fog for the next few days and i will catch you guys in the next forecast